Now, if you film with a mirrorless camera, you probably know that the battery life is not so good. Even when you're filming with the GH5, it may have one of the best mirrorless camera battery lives, but it's still not enough to push through an entire job. And it always just leaves that little bit of doubt in your mind as to when is the battery gonna go and hopefully it doesn't go at the wrong time. Now, if you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We do a lot of YouTube things and creator and we've got a serious sneaker problem. So you're gonna find content about our YouTube journey and hopefully you learn something along the way. And before we get fully into this, I know some mirrorless cameras can be powered via a USB-C port. Now, unfortunately, the GH5 is not one of those, and a lot of the newer cameras are coming out like that. But for all those mirrorless camera owners like you, this is gonna help you. Now, to be 100% honest, some people frown upon this method, and some people have damaged their cameras, but there's a specific reason why they have damaged their cameras. And I'm gonna teach you how today, how I've been filming like this for just over two years, and I haven't experienced one problem. Firstly, this is a battery. This is a dummy battery nothing inside and this is a power bank basically what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of the need for a ridiculously expensive 1860 milliamp hour battery from Panasonic and we're going to replace it with something around 12,000 to 30,000 milliamp hours now if that hasn't got your attention already you can buy one of these 1860 milliamp hours or three of these that's pretty much the getting ready part of a wedding versus nearly three weddings. Now the official Panasonic battery supplies a certain amount of volts and amps to the GH5. Now it doesn't matter what camera system you have, as long as you have a mirrorless camera, the concept of this is the same and whatever I'm telling you, you will be able to apply to using your own system. Now this is how it works. First, you need a good power bank. This is where everyone makes a mistake. Orky power banks are generally very, very good and I will drop a link in the description below. The dummy battery also requires a specific amount of volts and amps. As per the specifications, it needs five volts and between two and four amps. Now, the closer to four amps, the better. In the specs of your power bank, you'll see which ports produce the right amount of output. Now, if your ports aren't pushing the right amount of output, do not use them with a dummy battery you need to get the right power bank. Now, as an example, this 30,000 milliamp Orky power bank has two normal USB outputs. One supplies five volts and 2.4 amps, which is usable, but the other supplies five to 6.5 volts and can push out three amps. Now, although both ports can be used, the one is better than the other. And when you're doing this method, I'd always suggest that you take the safest and the best route. Let's take a look at this Anka power bank. It has a 13,000 milliamp hour battery it has two USB out ports and they both push out five volts at three amps. So you could use either one of these ports on this specific Anker power bank. Now the dummy battery has this DC step up voltage converter. This takes the perfect amount of volts and amps that it needs from your power bank, passes it through and gives it the perfect output for your mirrorless camera. Essentially faking it that the camera thinks it's got an official battery in it Meanwhile, you're using a power bank. Now, if you're on the internet, you may come across something like this. This specific dummy battery has two USB ports. It utilizes two USB ports in case you have the wrong power bank and combines them together into the voltage converter to help it get into the dummy battery. You're better off just buying the correct power bank and only utilizing one of these USB ports. Now, dummy batteries are more a mirrorless camera kind of thing, and you can find a dummy battery for your camera pretty much anywhere. Do not go for the cheapest dummy battery. And like I said, I will drop a link in the description below where you can pick up one for a GH5. You can browse around and pick up any one. The main crucial part here is that you do get the right power bank. To explain to you how far you can get, this 13,000 milliamp hour battery can get me through an entire cinematic wedding if I use it sparingly. Now, basically what I mean is if I don't use it sparingly, I can record with it all day, leave the camera on between recording and just never power it off and wait till the next shot. And then just when I get to the reception, I'd plug in the next power bank and I'm good to go. Now, if you're a gimbal user like me and you're wondering, well, how is this entire setup going to work on my rig? Well, make sure you subscribe because we're building the ultimate rig to show you what we've been filming with for the last few years, including adapting it to a new gimbal that I think you guys are gonna absolutely love. Now, just a quick note, if you do want to do a time lapse using a power bank on a GH5, and this will probably apply to a lot of mirrorless cameras, you cannot just use it as I have told you. You would need to go into the settings as on the GH5 and change your mechanical shutter to the electronic shutter. 
if you leave it on the mechanical shutter during a time lapse or you're taking photos with it, it'll actually power the camera off. It doesn't run it through. It's almost as if there's not enough power to use the mechanical shutter. And that's it. So if you guys enjoyed this, please smash the like button. I hope I've helped you a little bit. Remember those links are in the description below. They are affiliate links. So if you do happen to use one of those links, it won't cost you any extra, but I may get a small one or 2% commission of the sale, which helps me making all these videos for you. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one. Wherever you are in the world, have a good day, good evening, good night, goodbye.